Greetings to everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. It has been a while I've done a video. So, welcome back to my channel. And thank you all for coming in. So, don't mind my hair. My hair is just setting a hairstyle, right? As the title said, um, I'm going to speak about attacks with spiritual sickness. How do you know? Like one particular reason that you know it's a spiritual sickness, illness, or whatever, and not a natural. So, firstly, I want to share a few instances or experiences I had, and I'm going to be as brief as possible because I don't want to make this video too long. I do have intentions of um, elaborating on these one day but not tonight or well, this morning because it's already saturday morning all right so in 2011 i remember i was in school and i was in form five and it's like i was good all mornings just all of a sudden i started to get six out of feet cold sweating and um they called my mom and she took me from school and carried me to the hospital when I went to the hospital and they did tests and so forth and they didn't pick up anything, they said I need to take a blood test to see if it's something in my system. I remember they told us we have to wait like four hours to get the results from that blood test. So we were sitting there and it was about three, between the three, four, that hour that we got the results. When the results came in, nothing all right and i i'm not sure as to how many blood tests i would have taken after that not for that same experience but i've had different things happen to me as the years go by from 2011 till at least um probably 2016 or 2017 because i can't remember that i went for some kind of weird thing that was happening after to get tests i remember that um probably let me say roughly 10 if so much times i've ever had blood tests to test to see something was wrong with me even though i was experiencing something and people could have seen that something was wrong and the doctor saw absolutely nothing from the blood test now um even when i was going through that demonic attack the testimonies that i have i remember if you all listened it i would have um, spoken about how i was trying to sleep on a few occasions and my lungs or chest like if somebody was pressing against it i couldn't sleep at night and it coming down to the morning time it would release and when i go to the doctor the doctor was like nothing is wrong with you right um also what was very very interesting to me is that in 2016 there was a disease or some virus or something going around i think it was the zika virus i'm not sure if it was the zika but i think it was zika and i i remember clearly it was a friday i washed my hair that evening the afternoon and like I can't remember exactly what happened, but I think a heat or something was coming up from my head after I washed my hair. Very strange. And it would have been, I believe, either this Saturday morning when I went to bed or something. And I came out of the baths and was, you know, drying my skin. I started to feel like my entire back was burning me. So I was, you know, what's going on, right? Um, You know, in the evening now, when back to it, same thing. So then I probably, I think I asked my sister to watch my back to see what it is because I don't know what's going on. To realize that there were lots of fine buttons on my back. Like, oh, like very, very fine. And they were apparently raw. So every time I go to bed and it gets wet, it will burn me and burn me for at least an entire hour. Nothing can stop it. Nothing stops it until I could get like a, a ease up, you know? And I started to get on my hands and even on my like lower feet. These um 
buttons and i went to the hospital they did blood tests they pick up nothing and you know what i why i said it was very interesting is because at that time there were other people that had similar symptoms very very similar symptoms with all those fine buttons that they give them cream they give me cream well a liquid kind of cream thing that helped dry it up after a while but i had to i was like suffering with the same for like an entire week pain eventually i was like i'm not wetting my back when i go in the bathroom i try to avoid with my back or the areas that have this thing too much or not even i didn't even wet in my back right because it was very very painful and, and even something when even you're not wetting it it would feel like you know these things when they i don't know if it's called a towel or whatever you'll get feel very irritated and very distressed and the thing about it is people were having well they had the same or similar thing and they did blood tests and it came up um the results from the blood test stating that they had the virus and when they did blood tests on me nothing showed up so i know again these things are not well the devil i would say try to camouflage me in a way that while this thing is going on it will look like it's normal because i get it but i didn't get i didn't get it from the natural sense i got it through some spiritual thing and that's how devils operate right um and i tell every blood test i took in my life i've ever taken nothing has ever showed up nothing people might think like, what but I'm telling you, nothing, not a trace of nothing. A trace of nothing. So, most or almost everything that I have gone to the doctors to get tested with in terms of blood, nothing, nothing has been natural. Only once I've actually had something that was natural. But that was tonsils some years ago. Other than that, nothing so i realized that when things they are the devil can use anything cancer any any sickness that's in the natural and camouflage it and make it and like okay like some work of iniquity could put that on you and you may think it's a natural sickness when it was sent by the devil so you want to prove if that's from god or from the devil go by the doctor go by the doctor and when the doctor can't pick it up well i telling you, you better go and pray better go and see god face because some people there are so many people that dying out here not just from sickness from accident from being murdered all these kind of things and you think it's just happening natural is not always the natural sometimes or a lot of times it is spiritual things that is attacking in the natural and it appears to be natural but it's really not natural so there's a lot of people who die just that are not natural you know um i want to read psalms chapter 34 verse 19 and it says that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered him out of them all as sure of the most high god we will go through a lot of afflictions and if you're not prepared to go through affliction or you think that this christian life is a bed of roses i'm sorry for you it is not so and these affliction and these trials come for more than one reason which on two i would say that one for us to know god for us to know what god is able to do and also to help us to become stronger and to grow in faith and as experience everything because as a child of god if you don't know nothing about god if you never experienced about god what would you be able to tell people other than what is in the bible what would you be able to tell people i know some people will be like it have people out here be like um i don't want to hear nothing about the bible or no i want to know what you can tell me that could prove this why body the, the you know so yeah and i just want to read um corinthians that second corinthians chapter four verse 11 sorry verse eight starting it says that 
we are troubled on every side yet not distressed we are perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed so even though we're going through all these things and we are living in perilous times we are living in critical times god is not leaving us he's not forsaking us he's always there call upon him call upon him you have a blessed day a blessed month since we are in a new month in jesus mighty name goodbye